but yeah, Dancer to a Discordant System. It's been a long time since I've played through this hack. Um, I don't look very fondly on this hack at times, uh, but I am proud of it. It was my first hack. You know, it's rough around the edges here and there, but it is what it is. Grady made Dancer. He did. He helped. He was my emotional support. <laughs> Couldn't have done it without him. Uh, so let's uh, let's just get going. Right, I forgot how bad this beginning was. I don't really know what I was trying to achieve with this beginning, <laughs> to be honest. I wanted to make the player feel like you were supposed to be kind of spooked out. Uh, a crimson shadow looms over the horizon, drawing closer. Mario decides to take a shortcut home to Yoshi. I don't look fondly on it sometimes, says every creator. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so, you can't go up to the Yoshi house up there, or the Mario house. You can't move on the overworld. This is a very strange decision by me, uh, the start of this hack. Uh, but we will get the secret exit. Very, very odd first obstacle to throw at the players. This first obstacle definitely took a lot of people some figuring out. <laughs> very odd, but hey, you know, what can you do? Again, this is another very tight, odd obstacle to throw at the players. There's actually a soft lock up there. We'll see if we can get to it. There's a soft lock that not a lot of people know about. If you jump, it's really tough to get in there, but if you jump into the ground just right, you can get in there. I never, I never really got a chance to fix it, because I didn't know about it. I'll try a couple times here. I wasn't going to make an, an update just to fix this soft lock, because it's so hard to actually get in it, but you can get into the foreground. Yeah, I'm not going to worry about it. There's a soft lock there, so be careful. Everyone's favorite Kaizo block up there, too. Classic Kaizo block. Easy. So this is actually, if you haven't seen this hack, this is what looks like the end to the regular exit of the first level. And I did this to kind of throw, throw people off. Um, and also for the whole uh, Mario decides to take a shortcut back to Luigi or back to Yoshi. Um, again, I don't really know exactly what I was trying to achieve. Are there any Meshuggah Song SMW ports? I certainly wish there were, but there are none. Uh, so yeah, that brings you back to Mario's house. A lot of people were confused by the secret exit in the first level doing nothing. Uh, Yoshi's house is a mere few steps away, uh, is a mere few steps to go, and yet some unknown force pulls Mario away. Your progress will be saved automatically by moving on the overworld. Um, this was supposed to be kind of a joke, like, instead of just going and checking on Yoshi, we go on this massive adventure, because <laughs> it's right up there. Uh, a little, uh... little silly, but hey. You can midair there. You can midair there for cheese if you want to. This was another obstacle that tripped people out. I really, I think, and I saw this as criticism. A lot of people said the first level was one of like the weakest in the hack, and I definitely agree. This was one of the first levels I ever made. And uh, a lot of it is pretty unclear, and it's, it's just a weird level. It's a weird, long, difficult level. It's not really a good first level, but Things you learn as a creator to do better next time. There's actually a couple different ways you can do that obstacle right there too. Oh. 
Mickey has some of the biggest fucking balls, I swear. It's in his name. I would, I would hope so. See, that's one of the jumps I really regret. <laughs> one of the one of the many jumps in this hacks hack I, I regret a little bit. <laughs> I think that jump there caused a lot of resets for the speedrunners of this hack, and for that I apologize. There we go. So it's a little it's a little speed oscillation dependent. <laughs> uh, if I can get to it, there's a secret not very many people have found. If you do a midair here. Which I will try my best to get. It's actually a little tight. It's not much of a secret, but I will I will get to it. Midairs are evil. They're actually patched to be a little bit easier in this hack. Uh, that's actually part of the release bulk hack. There we go. They're not like they're not nearly as easy as Sheffy midairs, but they're a little bit easier just because of the patch I use to make throwing items up when you're spin jumping consistent. So it's actually pretty easy. It just says hi. There's a moon. It says hi. Very very boring secret. <laughs> Again, the the start of this second section tripped a lot of people up in their first playthroughs. Uh, it is. Definitely a little weird. Gotta do a little booty bump. Midairs are cool and fun. I agree. I agree. I like midairs. I forgot. I forgot what was there. I forgot what was there too. Yeah, what's up, Xiao? How you doing, man? I made this. Fake out at the end again. Very strange ending. Very strange ending. 
supposed to make you feel creeped out like you were forced to being going forced to go this way that jump this jump here used to be a tile wider and it was a lot tighter of a regrab <laughs> and it killed pretty much pretty much everybody once in the first playthrough and uh very again another very strange de decision on my part Also, that Koopa didn't scare as many people as I thought it would, but... <laughs> He's just a cute little guy. He wants to come say hi to you. Uh, thanks. Thank you, Space Vixen. And actually, it's meant to tie in. I tried to have the end of a lot of these levels tie into the next one. So it's the same, uh... It's the same background as this one here. Just a different color palette. There's a Kaizo block there, and... This is the secret exit. Uh, this tile set is from Metroid Zero Mission, which is one of my favorite games from when I was a kid. It's a much different color than you see in the original game, um, but that is on the Game Boy Advance. It's one of my favorite f favorite games growing up. It was cool to see somebody had ripped the graphics. Oh, of course we die to the end. Also, I'll die here. You can you can do these do this bat jump with either a spin jump or a regular jump, which I I, I kind of like. That was one of the things that like I like to pat my back about. I thought it was cool you could do either jump to start the section there. This is supposed to be a neutral D-pad there. You can see I'm facing back that whole way. I think that obstacle tripped a lot of people up cuz you don't always expect to have to neutral your d-pad like that. And I didn't really force it or indicate it very well. You also don't need that platform, you can just do that. <laughs> I think a lot of speedrunners do that instead. You can also just two-frame jump over that chuck, but it's a lot harder. Yeah, I find the tiny details important in hacks, too. It's always nice. You can see the overworld glitching out as well. <laughs> that is a result of my uh, the autosave patch that I used for this hack. Um, every time you move on the overworld, it kind of glitches out a little bit, and that's always bothered me, but I didn't know how to fix it at the time. I made this. What's up, Houndy Stem? Uh, how you doing, Hound System? This is, this is probably an exit I wouldn't have made these days. I'm not really that big of a fan of key jumps anymore. I forgot how to do that. Also, you can do this beginning two different ways as well. If you if you knock that, excuse me, uh, if you knock this shell to the right or to the left, I mean, you can go here and then just re-grab over. Oops, key jumps. Let's go, baby. Uh, when did I make this? I started this in February of 2020, and I finished the. I think the last version was updated. I I, I pretty much finished it in uh, September or October ish, and then the last version was added. I think end of October or November. Thank you. 
That, there's no reason for that jump. <laughs> there's no reason for that block there. Uh, purple and yellow together looks so pretty. Yo, thanks, Theo. Thank you. Angry turn block. Yeah, this is where the angry turn block came from. Although, I, so Ampersam actually drew the, uh, the current angry block that I have as an emo. Ampersam was, was kind enough to draw that for me. Uh, I drew the ones in this hack. And you can see the difference, uh, a little bit of uh, artistic ability. You can see the big difference that has. I forget what's in this uh, Switch Palace. What's up, Zuka? By the way, didn't realize Dancer was so new still. Yeah, just uh, it was a uh, it was a 2020 hack. Oh, right, 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 right. Yeah, yeah. Well, I made uh, I made Cute Kaizo. Cute Kaizo only took me two and a half weeks. Um, that was sort of I never really meant to upload Cute Kaizo to to SMW Central. That was a um. That was more of like a challenge to see how quickly I could make a hack. Ah, uh, two out of four. Two out of four. Not bad. Looks like we can keep this run going. You think I, you thought I made this 2018 to 19? Can we pretend that I did? It definitely is a, it's, it's not It's not up to the quality that people expect nowadays. I'll say that. It's actually it's faster in this in the speed run you take an intentional death there because it's a it's a lot faster than just going in the pipe well it's not a lot faster it is faster Let's see if I can remember all of this oh yeah I like this commentary playthrough I'm glad I'm glad Uh, you fail me actually as the world record in this hack took it from uh, tickles they both they both grinded this hack pretty hard also b2de grinded this hack pretty hard well not pretty hard but they've all speed ran it there's definitely a fast way to do that Strats. Yeah, it was my first hack. I didn't play as many hacks as maybe I should have. Uh, that is a troll. You're supposed to miss that. <laughs> and then think you're dead. And then, uh... Oh, ha 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 ha, you're not actually dead. <laughs> so stu stupid troll. They're, all the trolls in this hack are so stupid. But they're just supposed to make you laugh. I've never really been a fan of trolls that kill you. Oh, I should be saying the level names too. So the previous level was Sticks. That's that's off the uh, River Sticks, in uh, you know in 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 the the mythology of Hell. Uh, it was originally going to be named Vesuvius. I wish I had named it Vesuvius because it makes a lot more sense because there are volcanoes in the background and Mount Vesuvius is I think is still an active volcano. Uh, the first level was named after Blood Meridian. That's one of my favorite books by Cormac McCarthy. Uh, this level is named Rillia. It's uh, it's from one of H.P. Uh, Lovecraft's stories about Cth Cthulhu. Uh, so that's where this level title comes from. 
Rilia is a is an underground city of the dead or underground place of the dead pretty much and i figured that would go with the the aesthetics and the the rexes as well the top orb does still work yeah you, you can grab that there were some people that grabbed that because they just happened to be like holding right against the uh the right wall and they were like wow that's so mean if you miss that you die <laughs> And that was funny for me. Not so funny for them, because they were like, wow, what a mean creator. <laughs> Stepped away for a few, this is cool. Nice to see you play your own design. Well, thanks. I'm glad you think so. Yeah, I like anti-trolls a lot better, Brad. I'm right there with you. I'd much rather make the player laugh than kill them and make them do a section again. Oh yeah, the parallax in the background. I think it works so well with this uh, this background. Zamexer did that for me. For, for those that don't know him, he's the uh, he, he's done a lot of stuff for the community, but he's also the guy that made the Team Shell Overworld. He's very good with aesthetics. I have since learned how to do parallax myself, but it was very kind of him to do this for me when I didn't know. This is probably one of my favorite trolls in the game. It's also one of the fucking stupidest trolls in the game. <laughs> uh, please do not kill any sickly Rexes. They've been exhibiting strange behavior. <laughs> uh, thank you for the follow. We're just gonna let this guy do his thing. You can go in that pipe immediately. Uh, but we'll, we'll let this guy do his thing. His people need him. It's just so <laughs> It's just so dumb. It's so dumb. Oh, uh, what's up furry knot? Is parallax with that many layers? SA No, that's not SA1. That's just uh that's just util utilizing um I mean you can do that with the SMW engine. Not SA1 at all. 50? This was meant to get you to yump and go for a 50 with the goal tape. Uh, DeWild Grim actually got that first try. <laughs> DeWild Grim fucking went for the yump and the 50 and got it in his first playthrough. First try. Uh, cause he is a, he's a gamer. I'm not gonna go for it, but... Absolute legend. That's, a, that's frame perfect, by the way. Getting the 50 on a goal tape... Um, looks like I'm dropping frames. I apologize. I don't know exactly how much you guys are missing here. I'll just call, I'll call it chill for a second. Uh, name of this level is Dragon Arch Keep. I, that's, I named that off of, off of, uh, Arch Dragon Peak from Dark Souls 3. Cause, uh, this level's got a lot of fireballs and you get hit with a lot of fireballs in that area in Dark Souls 3. <laughs> this obstacle here took a lot of people some, some figuring out. I saw some people were spin jumping on those triangles. Also, it was a, I think it was a big mistake for me to make a section after a door. transition where you have to go right away i still kind of regret that uh, i didn't think this level was too hard but it, it gave a lot of people a lot of trouble just because a lot of it was blind seems good now hell yeah okay you just made the coolest death block graphic no shit What's up, Solve for X? What does it look like?
Also could have indicated that that thwomp was going right a little bit better. Uh, Utah, thank you for the 100 bits. I appreciate it. Thanks, man. A lot of saw buckets in this hack. Another thing I wish I had maybe done a little bit differently. This part was a little bit weird. <laughs> a lot of people jumped up into those coins because they thought it would be safety. Usually coins mean grab me. Collect me. <laughs> uh, and no, there's another, that was to indicate that there's another spike, but I don't think a lot of people picked up on that. Uh, there's no Kaizo block here. There's no Kaizo block here, or here, or here. There's no Kaizo blocks there. A lot of people were scared of Kaizo blocks. There's no Kaizo block here, no Kaizo block here, or here. Got the clip. Got the clip. I uh, hope you're having a good Sunday, Solfrax. Uh, two, or Light in August is a is a hack. For, um, it's not a hack. It's a book, even. <laughs> Light in August is a book by William Faulkner. I've always really liked that book. And I thought the name fit the fit the color scheme of the level. Yo, Azareth, thank you for the host. I appreciate it. This was a, this was a fan favorite. I think I think a lot of people told me that they really liked this level. I think this is one of my favorites too. Yeah, this is my hack, Mirakami. Feels like a long time ago I made it, but it, it really kind of wasn't. I started it a long time ago. I started it. About a year and a half ago. It's been a long time since I played it, too. There's a speed strat I'll go for up here. That is not the intended way to do that platform section. That's actually, that's a speed strat that, um, I would like this checkpoint. Was, uh, the Macerator made a TAS and found that and, uh, it was adopted for the speedrun. You know now you're legally not allowed to die while you play this hack. Oh, I'm gonna die a lot. <laughs> I wish I could play this without dying. Especially because there are gonna be some hard levels coming up later too. <laughs> well, maybe not hard, but... Love me some cheese. Yeah, that's a cool little, uh, cool little skip there. This was a dope level in your opinion? I'm glad you thought so. I like this level still. I think it's fun. I like the end of it too. Why is it called Dancer to a Discordant System? Oh, that's a good question. Yeah, maybe I should have explained that. Uh, that's a song by Meshuga. It's always been one of my favorite songs. 
and uh, I thought it was fitting for a Kaizo hack, because, like, as Mario, you're kind of in, in a Kaizo hack. You're kind of moving Mario through a discordant system of obstacles. And, uh, yeah, I thought it was just a cool name. Those blocks there were supposed to make make you think that you missed a, a Switch Palace and you were about to die. That didn't really get very many people, but another stupid anti-troll. Uh, Karamazov is the name of this level. That is, uh, um... Basically from, uh, the Brothers Karamazov, a book by, uh, Fyodor Dostoevsky. One of my favorite books. And that block ram, probably not something I would have done nowadays, but... This was also generally regarded as one of, peop one of people's favorite levels. I still like it too. Uh, yo, thanks, Murakami. Thank you. Oops. Block grab, put more in Dancer 2, please. I don't think there will be any block grabs in Dancer 2. So far, there are none, at least. Sorry to disappoint you, Morph Moth. Uh, if you keep going here, there's a there's a poem. Oh, also, you can't die here. <laughs> Not many people found this because they just made this jump. Uh, but if you if you <laughs> if you just don't make that jump, you can't actually die here. <laughs> Again, that's just supposed to be another stupid anti-troll. That I thought was funny. Yeah, what's up, Lima? Dancer? Yes, sir. We're just doing a playthrough of Dancer. People have been wanting me to do a playthrough with, like, commentary. And it's been a while since I played this. So why not? I don't know why the overworld events happen so slowly here, but it still annoys me. Uh, Jelez Nodorozny is how you pronounce this level. Jelez Notorozny. I think I think less than five percent of people even tried to pronounce that. This is one of the exits I don't really look too fondly upon. This was one of the very first exits I ever made. I don't like the aesthetics. I don't like the music. I don't like the gimmick. There's not a whole lot I like about this level. Um, but no, it was actually going to be one of the one of the sections I deleted. I deleted a whole lot from this from this hack while I was making it. Um. This was going to be one of the sections, but I decided just to make it a secret exit. How long does this take me? Um, it, I... Basically from February 2020 to about September, October 2020. Longer than it should have. <laughs> but yeah, about, um... What is that, about seven, eight, nine months?
I've played the start. Think good creativity comes from deleting and starting. That's supposed to be two sentences? Yeah, okay, I get you. <laughs> yeah, no, really. Um, in Kaizo creation, deleting is really important. Because you're always going to make something that doesn't quite stick. And I think it's I think it's important as a creator to know when that happens and when you should when you should try again basically uh, i forgot what to do here yo what's up lloyd i actually i don't think i mind this level very much still i don't i'm not the biggest fan of double jump but i think i think i still think this level is pretty fun It's just with this double jump mechanic, you kind of have to know that you can only, with this ASM at least, you can only double jump if Mario is moving down. If you're moving up and you try to double jump, you won't actually get the double jump. Um, and it, that makes it feel super uncomfortable. You're also, not, like, you can't re-grab, right? You can't re-grab. See, I just tried to re-grab there and it screwed me. Um, so I kind of wish there were, there were some things I had maybe designed a little bit differently about it because of that, but... It also used to be a four bucket with a shell that people were not happy with. That's one of the things I changed in, what is this, 1.2? Oops. Oh, yeah, this is a jam. I do like this tune. This is a good song. This level also has what I think a lot of people considered one of the hardest hardest obstacles in the game. And that is the, the shell trick at the end of this section. I still don't think it's too bad, but... I also made it, so... <laughs> I'm a little biased. easy it's easy this is also one of the stupidest trolls in the game <laughs> a lot of people read that as so and didn't quite get it it's supposed to say 50 it's supposed to make you think oh i have to do 50 jumps here and it's supposed to make you just count your jumps <laughs> and make you feel dumb <laughs> And make you worried that, oh, I may not have enough to make it. <laughs> and it says, ha, with a wall. Oh, what do I do? You go down here. <laughs> and it turns out, there's ground down here. And that was kind of a way to say, ha, ha, like, ha, ha, but also, like, shoutouts to freaking, huh? And the pipe was down here the whole time. <laughs> it's just... <laughs> So fucking dumb. So fucking dumb. Uh, and the booty. Uh, rest in peace, LSR Rump. Such a stupid troll, man. So stupid. <laughs> yeah, what's up, Professor? <laughs> Glad you find it funny, you toff. I think this this level is probably one of the hardest because these Bowser statue jumps are a little uh, are a little tight and a little hard to read at first. I'm still a fan of this falling mole jump. 
This falling mole jump used to be a lot tighter. You used to actually have to jump off of him midair. Uh, and my play tester did not like that. <laughs> I think this level also before I continue, nobody 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 uh, nobody really commented on this at all ever, but these mushrooms are supposed to in indicate the jump that you do off of the Bowser statue because you do a regular jump here and then you do a spin jump off of the next one. So there's yellow mushrooms here and blue mushrooms, like yellow and blue coins. I don't think very many people uh, picked up on that though because that's all happening so quickly. So I'm going to point it out because I want people to appreciate that. Uh, but yeah, this uh, this mole, you used to actually have to jump off of him midair there. He wouldn't he wouldn't actually land on the ground. And my playtester really didn't like it. I think this level before I had made it I, I made this level a lot easier than it was <laughs> in like the beta phases. And it's still it's still one of the levels that give people the most troubles. The most trouble. I think this level used to be a hell of a lot harder, too. At this point, I hadn't yet played Grand Pool World 2, but I was still... I really liked how many vertical sections Barb had going downwards, and I wanted my own. But I don't think I really quite knew how to make downwards vertical sections all that well <laughs> you never noticed the mushrooms indicating the jump no nobody did nobody did but yeah I think that's because I also just spammed a bunch of mushrooms everywhere else in this level. It's a very it's a it's a strange level. It's a very strange level. <laughs> and this is a very strange obstacle to end it. And the very phallic mushroom here. Everybody pointed out the phallic mushroom. <laughs> Mushrooms. Yeah, vertical levels are hard to make. You're playtesting a hack for the first time. You find it hard to be honest about things you don't like or you think don't work, but you know you absolutely need to for the creator. Yeah, playtesting can be hard. It can, it can be, you know, playtesting can be as hard as making a hack sometimes because it's like, what do you... You know, how, how, how do you correctly and objectively critique a hack? It's one of the things that you, like, have to learn how to do. Uh, I hate this level, by the way. I absolutely hate this level. I hate everything about it. This level was made very last minute. Because I thought it needed to have a water level. So it was kind of rushed, it was kind of put together pretty quickly, uh, and it's not that good. This dolphin section used to not have a checkpoint as well, and that bothered a lot of people, so I put a checkpoint in. Getting back on these dolphins bothered people. It's a lot easier if you press down, but I also made it less tight in 1.2. Oops, I did not mean to do that. Shoutouts to that one muncher there, making that jump so much tighter than it needs to be as well. Also that jump.
Oops. The comfortably numb port also won't get you DMCA'd. I did make sure of that before I released this, but I think a lot of people still muted this level just, just in case. Oh my god, pick up the block. Shouting out a muncher is great. That muncher sucks. Also, shout outs to the Waxic Tunnel before Waxic Tunnel was like a thing. <laughs> it's not too bad though. That is that uh, too wide gap right there. The spin jump off this platform. That muncher right there. Also, shoutouts to the cutoff. The water cutoff. Surprise this hack didn't get rejected. There's a there's a Kaizo block up there on the last jump. <laughs> and I tried a little bit too hard there to avoid it. <laughs> This hack has more Kaizo blocks than I remember. Right there. Kaizo block right over this edge there. just realize you've been staring at lunar magic for 20 minutes and haven't done anything i do that quite a bit <laughs> i am not speed running i don't need to split uh coming up is probably one of my favorite shell levels <laughs> but a, lo a lot of people like this level as well oops i think this was this was a fan favorite Not really a fan favorite. This was this was a lot of people's favorite level. Yeah, it was comfortably numb. Yo, yeah, well, thanks, Morph Moth. I still like this level. I'm not the biggest fan of shell levels, but I like my own shell level. It's like, it's like, uh, man, five room, ca I forget who said this. Somebody said, man, five room castles suck, but my five room castle is good. <laughs> Nice shell jump. Those spikes that dropped there used to be a lot tighter too. That that up pipe used to be a hell of a lot harder to get into. Thanks, Chaney. You can midair there if you want to.
Just like that. This was my first hack. Yep, this is the first hack I made. Uh, this next level was... Uh, Overlook Fortress. Oh, Chateau Zettelgelm, by the way, the name of the previous level was... Um, that's that's a, that's a reference to Cloud Atlas, the book, or the movie. That's uh, from the Robert Frobisher timeline in, uh, in Cloud Atlas. Uh, Overlook Fortress, that's a reference to The Shining. Uh, I really like the book and the movie. Uh, and this, this level was, uh, this level was, um... Had mixed receptions. Uh, you can go in that door. It is just death. There's no hints in there. It was so, kind of supposed to teach you you could go through this stuff, though. Um, I wanted to fake people out. The point of that was to fake people out and make them think it was a sky tree. And then, oh, guess what? It's not a sky tree. And then that first obstacle with the Hammer Brother platform really confused people. It's a really, really obscure obstacle. And it's hard to read. Uh, yeah, what's up, Meatloaf? This is Dancer, yeah. This is Dancer. I wanted this exit to kind of feel like a, a, a little mini game. Oh, a, like a little mini coin game. It really just kind of ended up feeling like a weird, obscure Kaizo level. Uh, but you are, you're supposed to collect a hundred coins or however many coins there are in this. Thank God it wasn't. <laughs> uh, thankfully, I think I'll, I think people found this exit pretty fun. Like the first few obstacles are a lot harder than the rest of this. I think it is, it is a strange little. Uh, it is a, it's a strange little exit. It's really easy to miss a single coin here, and that can be super frustrating. But you get a mushroom, and you damage boost, and you grab the key. I'm doing something like that in Dancer 2, yeah. I'm still coming up with ideas, but yeah. Coffin Palace. Um, called Coffin Palace because of the Coffin Dance song. <laughs> also, um, the message block at the end says Barb Toxic, which is a, an emote of Coffin. Uh, from uh, coughing from Pokemon and there was there was another another facet to that uh, level title but I can't remember what it is this is regarded as the hardest level in the hack by most people This jump is probably a lot tighter than it needed to be. Also, the shell jumps in the next half are uh, probably what causes the most, the most trouble for people. This is the coffin dance meme. This is that meme song. Again, this is not DMCA'd. I, uh, so I made a lot of this hack on stream, um, and obviously had, had played this song on my stream quite a bit, and I, I made sure it wasn't DMCA'd. I think it's this, this shell jump that screwed a lot of people up. You need to be a lot quicker than you think. A lot of people ended up kicking that shell into that Koopa. Uh... 
And I actually saw some people think thought that they needed to do it slower, and that just ended up making it harder. It's it's not the best obstacle. <laughs> I could have done a lot better forcing that same movement with um forcing that same trick without allowing the player to do it in different ways that don't work. Cuz when when you're allowed to do something as a player, you, you sometimes you try not you like you don't really try anything different and you just end up trying to do that same thing over and over again so it's that's definitely my fault I could have made that obstacle a bit more clear you can see I'm also struggling on it now that I haven't played this in a while Yeah, no, that's exactly- I thought- I, I was like, oh, people are gonna- this level's the hardest, man. People are gonna hate this level. But I'm, I'm gonna play the Coffin Dance song. So, what happened to you, Morph Moth, is exactly what I had intended. I probably wouldn't do anything like that nowadays, though. There we go. This obstacle kind of sucks, because you don't really expect the Thwomp to stop there. There's nothing indicating, but there is one F0 off screen on the bottom there, which I, again, wish I had done differently. And again, another really stupid troll. <laughs> it's a fake switch. Haha. <laughs> Barb Toxic. So funny. So funny. Glad it worked out, just as I had intended. <laughs> uh, Alright, regular exit, Overlook Fortress. It's another another pretty tough level. It's The sections are just super long and pretty hard to read, honestly. Oops. I still really like the way this level looks. I like the aesthetics. I remember I was watching... I was watching somebody play this and... Barb was in chat. I remember him saying, uh, I like that background, but I think, I think the foreground is really ugly and it crushed my soul. I can definitely see where he was coming from, though. And now I just kind of think it's funny. Like, who cares? <laughs> Poor slob. It, I really don't give a shit now. <laughs> but like, when you when you when you first release a hack, man, it can be the, taking the criticisms. And seeing people's criticisms, especially from Barb, like obviously I look up to Barb. Um, taking the criticisms can be hard, but I've definitely learned it. And now, like, I like it, so who the fuck cares what Barb thinks, you know? I like it. What the fuck do I care? Uh, yo, what's up, Healthier? Uh, you beat Cute Kaizo as your first Kaizo hack. Assume that was a newer one of yours. It was really well designed and fun to play. I'm glad you think so. Thank you. GG's on your completion. And welcome to the Kaizo journey. Um, no, actually, I made, um, I made Cute Kaizo more recently. Um, I made it in just a couple weeks in February of this year. February or March 2021 uh, I made it in a few weeks as a challenge to myself to see like what I could make in a short period of time I never really meant to upload it to SMW Central uh, but I'm, I'm, I'm very happy I did and I'm super proud of super proud of it I'm glad people enjoy it 
I'm, I'm kind of, I've always been surprised at the uh, feedback reception it's got. Uh, so I'm glad you enjoyed it. I made, uh, obviously I made cute Kaizo long after I made this hack. A lot of what I learned from making this hack went into cute Kaizo. You kinda, I've always said you, you learn more about, you can spend a thousand hours. You can spend a thousand hours making a hack, learning lunar magic, watching tutorials, playing hacks, getting inspiration. You can spend a thousand hours doing that and you will learn more about making a hack after you release it than you will ever learn making your first hack. Uh, just based on watching people play it and learning how to accept the criticisms. There's also a speed strat there that I don't go for, but you can skip that bottom, Yuri. Tickles. Uh, Tickles found a lot of speed strats for this hack. And I don't know how to go for most of them, because I've never really tried. Uh, but he really grind this game out, and then you fail me grinded out this game as well. Also, thank you for the follow. Yo, thanks, Flez. Thank you. Yo, what's up, Gulashenko? How you doing, man? I think it's just the spikes you like the rest but the spikes don't do it for you yeah i would agree with that professor i would agree the spikes aren't that great they used to be more grayed out too and then my play tester complained that they didn't stand out far enough so i kind of made them that little slight more gold color i don't think it was enough though looking back i would have just used the vanilla spikes but i didn't really know how to mess with the graphics files now i know but uh, analyzing your own work is so damn hard, man. It really is. It really is. Um, the Dreaded Abyss is, uh, named after a song, The Dreaded Mystic Abyss, by, uh, Shadow of Intent. And this is also one of the loudest ports in the game, so I apologize. <laughs> I still remember, I did not mean to do that. Uh, I still remember Third Wall when he played this. He like, <laughs> he like flinched when he opened this level because the song is so loud. And yeah, I could have done a little bit better with the audio ba balancing for this hack. That could be good. Yeah, that's gonna be good. Uh, this is the sprites and water ASM. It's kind of like the low gravity ASM in Mario Maker. But basically all the sprites act as if they're in water, but Mario does not. Uh, I think I could have done more interesting things with this ASM, looking back. Um, I, I feel like I didn't really utilize the ASM to its full potential. Um, but I, 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 I'm pretty happy with how this level turned out still. I, I think it's still a pretty fun level. I've always liked spin jumping on turn blocks. There's the obstacle at the end with all the falling Bowser statues. <laughs> I think I, I probably wouldn't have made anything like that nowadays, but I think it has given this hack some character because it's such a weird setup. Uh, what's up, Zam? This is my weird game. <laughs> I know, it's been a while since this has been on my stream. In a while since these levels have been on my stream. This is also the same ASM that's in uh, Sheffy 2. This is in one of the levels in Sheffy 2. Yeah, this obstacle right here causes a bunch of lag and is hard to read and you can accidentally get p-speed there i think it's a little in oh please get in there <laughs> it's a little hard to read 
but uh, I think it's cute. All the falling Bowser statues. Uh, a lot of people thought this bridge was fake and that there'd be a Kaizo block here. It's not. Thank you for the follow, by the way. Thank you guys all for the follows. There's been a lot since the raid. I appreciate it. Uh, coming up, the Bastille. Uh, obviously, that uh, that prison, old prison in France. Uh, I've always been interested in uh, European history, and especially the French Revolution. I always thought it was very interesting to learn about. Um, so, figured I had a castle. Why not name it after the Bastille? Fuck, 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 fuck. Utah, fuck, thank you for the gift sub. Uh, Utah, thank you for the gift sub to Fatinsky. Thank you so much, dude. I am new, Smilers. Hi, it's nice to meet you, Bradley. Bobby Bark! What's up, dude? I hope you're doing well. And thank you for the follow. I think this level is where the lack of difficulty balance in this hack really shines too, because this first half is not really that difficult at all. Uh, and then the second half is one of the most difficult sections in the game. See how much trouble it gives me. Also, my favorite troll is at the end of this level. <laughs> my personal favorite stupid anti-troll is at the end of this level. Watching people, watching people's reactions to it was probably the highlight of me making this hack. Uh, there were a just a. Not very many people died in it. You weren't supposed to die to the troll at the end, but there were a couple people that did. <laughs> and I thought that was very funny. So I'm excited to show that off. Anybody that hasn't seen it. It is a reference to Nibana no Sato from Kaizo 3. I remember Barb found it really funny, and that made my day. You weren't supposed to die to the troll. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, what's up, Jerry? There's a couple, couple jumps in this section that were way tighter than they deserve to be. This section right here, these jumps are sneaky difficult. Those jumps are super tight for no reason. Those jumps aren't that tight. <laughs> I still like this section though. It could have been polished a little bit more, uh, but I like this section. I think it's fun platforming. I think I think if for an auto scroller it's good. It keeps you busy at least. For the most part. Probably could have done a little bit better, but I'm gonna pause it here. There's a Hammer Brother platform here <laughs> that comes up to the door. So when I made this, I had no clue you could enter a door while in a cloud, even if that door was floating. So the original intended method was to hop out of the cloud, land on the Hammer Brother platform to enter the door. Uh, and when I saw people playing this for the first time, entering this door from the cloud platform, 
I just started saying like, oh yeah, that Hammer Brother platform is there to 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 kick you away from the door <laughs> and make it harder to enter with the with the cloud. Yeah, yeah. So this is the troll. This is uh the same. This is like the same setup as in the Bana no Sato from Kaizo Three. This that's a that, that's a pretty like notorious Chuck Gate. Um, so the the troll is to make you think you have to do the Chuck Gate, and then the gold tape is right there. Uh, and I'll, I'll, a couple people died there. Most people didn't, but that's one of my favorite trolls. <laughs> this gave me no checkpoint. Then you rage quit because it was like 1 a.m. and played it the next day, realized it was a troll. <laughs> Dude, that's funny. That's funny. Uh, the obligatory... <laughs> the obligatory motor skills level and obnoxious MMX song with block grabs that, ev that every hack needs. I had my own, of course. I still think this is, this is a pretty cool level, though. I still think it's fun. I don't mind motor skills. And the best Kaizo block ever. You can't die here. There's actually... Yeah, there's about 7 billion Kaizo blocks here. Because <laughs> I didn't want anybody to not hit this troll. I wanted to make sure people hit that. Uh, you can't die here. You can die here, though. <laughs> this is one of the setups here that I'm still pretty proud of. I thought this saw ride was pretty neat. I um, got the inspiration for that saw ride from Grand Pool World 1. When I, I saw the... the uh, turn block saw part in echo base that's where i got the inspiration for that from i thought it worked pretty well with the motor skills too um my music choice is a, a million out of ten well thank you this game's really cool even though it was your first one thank you utah thank you guys uh my green screen just almost broke i guess Love it, love it. Yeah, that's a good song. That's a good song, for sure. There may be a lot of Mega Man X samples and songs and hacks, but it's still good. Uh, Discordant System. Obviously, the, the titular the titular level title. I tried to make that Bowser castle as big as I possibly could, too. It doesn't look good, but it's big. So that's all that mattered to me. <laughs> Uh, final level. I wanted a five room castle. I didn't want to make you do that shit without checkpoints. I wanted something between a five room castle and one of those final levels where like there's a section based off of every other section in the game. Um, so I kind of I kind of combined those two things. I also wanted a section that didn't really feel like Kaizo and was more just like standard. So that's what this section is here. There's another Kaizo block in this jump that really sucks. And these guys are supposed to make you think they're gonna shoot fire and they actually don't. This is probably one of my favorite sections in the game still. I really like this one. Oh, that Rex block. That made the Rex bigger after you bop him once was actually there was uh, an entire level using that block that I ended up scrapping and remaking it into the the Rex level the third level that still exists. So when I made this section, I still had a level in the hack that that used that block, 
And when I deleted that level, I didn't want to delete this section, so I, I just kept it. It's it's a little confusing at first, but I think people pick up on it pretty quickly. I know this uh, this this section's actually pretty nerve wracking in the speed run because it's uh, it's really tight and that up that last up pipe sucks. <laughs> Uh, the background is from Castlevania, and I believe so is this song right here, and then the next song is from Mega Man 5, I think? Um, but that background actually takes up four graphics files. <laughs> most, uh, most custom backgrounds either take up one or two. So I was very limited in graphics, custom graphics, but I think the background looks very nice. It was worth it. Uh, but four, four graphics files for a background is quite a lot. <laughs> One of the previous versions of this hack, these these uh, platforms used to be super janky. They would hover above the uh, the line guides, and they would dip a little bit when you jumped on them. There's a Kaizo block there too. Um, they would dip a little bit when you would land on them and eat your jump sometimes. So that was one of the things, major things I fixed in 1.2, the most current version. That's where the Kaizo block is, by the way. <laughs> Roach Jam. This is still one. This this obstacle took a lot of people f some figuring out, but that's that's one of my favorite obstacles in the hack. That took me a while to get to work right. Uh, this one at the start here with the saw and the note in the wing blocks. Unfortunately, those spikes right there, screen wrap. So those spikes aren't supposed to fall early. It's just they do. That's that, that's exactly how they're supposed to work right there. But sometimes you screen wrap them, and there was there was really I spent a lot of time trying to figure out how I could fix that. And I, I couldn't come up with anything, and uh, I just left it the way it was. So yeah, sometimes they fall. But... 
It didn't, it didn't really, like, ruin the obstacle, so. I didn't worry too much about it. The, the two buckets. I do regret the two buckets. The, the sockets. Uh, I probably wouldn't have made two buckets for the saws nowadays, but. That was just what I came up with when I made this. Scariest up pipe at the end of a speedrun right there. <laughs> uh, but that is it. That is it. That is Dancer to a Discord system. I put the... So, I the, ne I, the Nexus is the next level, which is actually the end of a 100% speedrun. Which, again, is pretty strange. Horrible overworld events here, too, also. Uh, but the Nexus is right here, because it's supposed to it's supposed to unlock the uh, the secret shell level, which we'll, we'll go in. I can't promise I'll beat every level, but we'll go check out the shell level. Uh, yeah, GG's, guys. GG's. What's up, Stu? I hope you're doing well, man. So the Nexus is just supposed to unlock the... Uh, well, the Yoshis. We'll go see Yoshi. Mario, hi. What's been wrong lately? Why don't you want to talk to me anymore? Okay, you're feeling great again. Come on, throw me in a pit like you used to. You can set the world on fire with this fire, too. <laughs> I don't know. I just had to add something, I guess. Rye Airfield is the name of a skate park in a... Uh, like a an old aircraft hangar up in New Hampshire um, I just wanted to make a bunch of shell rooms because I, I really liked shell tricks back when I made this um, so that's what I did uh, what's up I am more That door's fake. I don't know why I thought that would be funny. You can grab that moon over there, but... So these these rooms just use L and R, and then the, the final one is the mid-air low-gravity one. This is just a shell elevator. I will... I'll try. I'll give it a couple tries. It's not as high as the shell elevator in... Invictus. Hey, all right. Not, see, not not that hard. Not that hard. Uh, the beginning of this one was a little hard to figure out for a lot of people. For the, for the few people that that tried these rooms, uh, this for, this one's a little bit tough to figure out. It's actually pretty tight, too. It's been a while since I've tried to do this. I was obviously inspired by Thumb Shredder, though. Shoutouts to Glitch Cat. He actually played this and cleared every room here, too. Also, shoutouts to fucking Laser Belch, who, uh, who had, had a good enough time playing this hack to, uh, he cleared all of these rooms too uh he actually laser did the uh fucking the midair one coming up next too Cause... he is a gamer yo know, thanks morph moth oh you did two flies hell yeah man ggs ggs Oh. 
I wish I had made this without the three buckets, but eh, live and learn. The midair one kind of destroyed you. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, well, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna worry about this one here. We'll go try the midair one. This uses the same low gravity as the, um, the dreaded abyss level. That setup confused a lot of people. I really, I doubt I'll clear this. Oh yeah, midairs are a lot easier. You can even with this with this ASM you can you can do them standing still with no momentum. They make it they make them extremely easy. Doesn't make this room easy, but Yeah, these it, it, it's they're different than normal midairs too. For sure. They feel a lot different. Uh yeah, hey Pebbles. I don't I don't look at my viewer count. I'd appreciate it if you didn't tell me, but yeah. Got a, got a, the, the space vixen dropped a nice, nice big raid on us. It was very kind of her. Glad people are enjoying out. Enjoying hanging out. No, you don't need to apologize. You like this room? Thanks, Professor. I, I still think it's cool. It, it, like this this level this level doesn't have any exits because I didn't want to make people feel like they were obligated to play this it's definitely a little weird what the fuck is this trying to have fun I know I know imagine I'm, I'm trying to learn what's up nightbird I'm trying to learn how to have fun as a speedrunner that's hard for me CMBs. What's up, dude? I didn't expect this hack to be this intense. Cool stuff. Uh, thank you for the two months, man. I appreciate it. First resub. Thank you. Uh, didn't expect this hack to be this intense. Cool stuff. Yeah, well, this is this is just an, uh, this is a bonus level you get once you beat it and find all the switch palaces. There's definitely nothing else like this in this hack. It's not even required. Damn it. Uh, but thanks, dude. I hope you're doing well. I made this to Grady is the best. Sure. It's not a split, but I'll I'll I'll, I'll oblige. What's up, Nightbird, by the way? Is 
This level actually looks really cool. Thanks. I'll try to beat it. I'll try to beat it. Might take me a minute. It's a little long. And I'm more used to doing, like, mid-airs with real physics. That part tripped a lot of people up. No, oh, no! Shit! <laughs> oh, that was it. Alright, we'll beat this. We'll beat this. Just chilling, you're installing Linux on your laptop just to do it? Hell yeah, dude. Somebody else was just installing Lin Linux last week or so and talking about it here. I think that was Strife. Uh, trying to get better at Kaizo. Oh, you'll get there, man. It just takes time. It just takes time. There's no magic ingredient or magic trick or magic hack to play. It just takes time. Uh, this has been super fun watching today. Always enjoy your streams. Hope you have a great rest of your day. Yo, thanks, Utah. Thanks, man. Are you heading out? If so, I hope you have a good rest of your weekend, man. I'll try to watch that, uh, I'll try to watch that video tonight. I'm excited to see see how it went. <laughs> oh yeah, you you can technically Gulashenko. I don't think it makes it any easier, but you can definitely do that. Oh yeah, cheers man. Have a good rest of your Sunday. I am glad you enjoyed watching. Woodstock 99 documentary was good, but weirdly politicized. It didn't see your brother. Well, that sucks. That sucks. But it was still good. Damn it. 7 exits in on Dreams and Tobeo. Can't seem to get it. Y'all get it, man. Dreams is a good hack. Definitely just takes time. God damn it. Come on. I used to be so, dude, I used to be able to beat this room nine times out of ten. Obviously, that was back when I was making it. <laughs> I wish I had picked a different song to put in it, too, but <laughs> whatever. Yeah, this is a Spark Mandrill from Mega Man X. I will beat this. I said I was going to, and there's a there's a silly little thing at the end for note for people that haven't seen it. So Here. we will beat it.
God damn it. Oh, I forgot to do a midair. I just forgot what I was doing. You just did your first yump. Hell yeah, brother. GG's. That is exciting. Where did you do it? Yellow Palace and Akogari 1. Very nice. Uh, yo, what's up, Insanit? Thanks for the good luck, dude. I bet it was on a P-Switch. Still counts. In my book. So that can happen if you're too quick. <laughs> I saved it too. I saved it with the bottom one and then the top one just didn't go in the bucket. I I knew about that when I was making it. I could never find a way to fix it and make that all work. So I just figured most people probably wouldn't go too quick there and I left it. And here it is coming back to haunt me. Did the same thing, Akko was kicking your ass. You save-stated your way through to practice the different jumps, so now you're going back to beat it legit. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that at all. Play however you want to have fun. Play however you want to you wanna play to get better. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, the, the secret exits, the special world, and the switch palaces in Akko 1 are all a lot harder than the any percent game. He, he is a good dog. He is. What's up, Daywalker? Really good dog. I'm sure he would appreciate you saying so. He's actually... You see him there? Right here? Sleeping on my bed behind me. Hi man, hope you're doing well. Hope you're having a good Sunday. Okay, all right. You are Super sexy. <laughs> I 
love you. <laughs> so stupid. Alright, well that's my game. That's my game.